Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvat. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture blog.com. In the previous video I presented you how to create the column grid of the building. And in this video I'll present you how to create the construction drawing and insert XREF. In the following steps a construct drawing will be created in which the ground floor will be composed. The first step is to press Ctrl and 3 key to hide the tool palettes and to display the project navigator palette by pressing Ctrl and 5 keys on the left side of the screen. Please note that if you close all the drawings and the project navigator palette is not shown in the screen, but you want to display it, you can start it from the quick access toolbar. Please also remember that in every case when the project navigator palette is opened, the whole project will be refreshed. And if there are tens or hundreds of drawings, it can take some time. So if it is possible, or if there are more screens, leave it continuously open. First, please go to the Constructs tab of the Project Navigator palette. Then, please make a right-click above the Constructs folder and select from the drop-up menu the New and then the Construct tabs. Now, please override the value of the name field to entry level on the displayed at construct panel. At the assignments panel, please turn on the right toggle and indicate that the drawing belongs to the main building named the division of the ground floor level. Finally, please press OK and go back to the project navigator, where the new entry level named drawing displays below the constructs folder. Now please open the drawings with double click on the icon of the entry level. You can see that the new drawing displayed in AutoCAD drawing area is now empty because it does not include anything. You can see this drawing active in the title bar of the program or on file tabs. Let's see next how to insert the column grid to the entry level drawing. First, please make a right click in the project navigator at the left side on the column grid element and then from the drop up menu please select the xref overlay command. Please note that when the elements type drawing is dragged with the left mouse button into the constructs type drawing, the drag drawing will automatically change attach type in the host drawing. The next step is to go to the top to the column grid drawing line. Type is really overlay and not attach. It is necessary because if the entry level construct drawing will be built later in that drawing, which contains the whole 3D model of the building, then the entry level drawing, as well as the upper level drawings prepared later, will not take the column grid drawing into the 3D model. Finally, before saving, please press the top close button to exit the external file reference dialog box and please save the drawing by using the save command. You can find more information about XREF in the link mentioned in the description. 
In the next series I show you how to create walls. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more. If you would like to create the whole project of a two-story house with sheets and annotation, please buy the book which guides you step by step.